something big is brewing inside Samsung's labs, and it's about to shake up the Galaxy world in ways that most people didn't see coming. We're talking about One UI 8, the software upgrade that's not just for the fancy flagships anymore, it's quietly making its way to Galaxy A phones. But here's the twist, the rollout isn't as straightforward as you think. Some models are on the fast track, others are stuck in testing, and a few surprises just leaked that might change how mid-range phones feel entirely. Welcome back, viewers. Jamis here. If you enjoy staying ahead of the curve with updates like this, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and tap that bell so you never miss what's next. Now, let's dive in. Samsung has already confirmed that the One UI 8 beta is heading to the Galaxy A36 5G, A35 5G, A35 5G, and A54. Sounds simple, right? But here's where it gets interesting. The rollout is split depending on where you live. The A36 and A35 will light up with beta access in India, South Korea, the UK, and the US. But the A55 and A54, since they never launched in the US, their beta journey is skipping that region entirely. Instead, those users in India, Korea, and the UK will get first dibs. What makes this update exciting isn't just the devices confirmed, it's the ones that weren't supposed to be ready yet. Internal builds for phones like the A56, A26, and even the older A73 have suddenly surfaced. And then out of nowhere, the Galaxy A33 popped up in a Geekbench entry running Android 16 with One UI 8. That's the kind of breadcrumb that usually hints at hidden testing behind the scenes. But here's the real plot twist Samsung is just one step away from dropping the One UI 8 beta on the Galaxy A35. For months, engineers have been quietly fine tuning this phone, and the very first beta firmware has finally been spotted with the build number A356EXU5ZY4. If you're familiar with Samsung's history, that's basically the green light that a beta package is almost ready to roll out. So if you're holding an A35, you might be joining the beta party sooner than you think. And while the A series is preparing its big debut, the Galaxy S24 lineup is already sprinting ahead. Owners of the S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra are already living the beta life. But Samsung's not stopping there. A new beta build carrying the version number S928BX6U4YH9 has just been spotted in internal testing. Translation, beta 2 for the S24 series is right around the corner. Expect smoother performance, bug fixes, and maybe even a few hidden features Samsung hasn't talked about yet. That's the fascinating part about beta programs. These aren't just unfinished versions of software. They're like secret previews, giving us a peek at where Samsung is headed while also letting users directly shape the final release by spotting bugs and performance issues. It's a rare moment where regular users get to influence the future of a flagship experience. But here's the kicker. Not every Galaxy of phone will unlock the full One UI 8 magic. While Android 16 itself will bring efficiency and tighter integration, most of the advanced AI features, the flashy multimodal tricks and heavy processing stuff, won't be available on mid-range devices due to hardware limitations. That doesn't mean these phones will be left behind, though. The 8 series is still getting smarter, smoother, and more connected than ever. Think of it as Samsung giving budget and mid-range phones just enough of a taste of its premium experience to make them feel new again. So. Whether you're rocking an A35 waiting for its first beta, or you're part of the S24 crew about to download beta 2, the next few weeks are going to be packed with action. Samsung is clearly moving faster than expected, and every new firmware leak is another clue that we're edging closer to the stable release. What do you think? Should Samsung give the full AI suite to the A series? Or is that something only flagships should flex? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's talk about it. Until then, keep an eye on your Samsung members app because the beta notifications might just surprise you sooner than you think.